All right, so welcome back to another unboxing video. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing Rec Raiders by uh, Kids Table Board Games. This is the second game I have gotten from this particular publisher. Now, this particular publisher is, on a, is definitely on a lot of people's minds right now because another game from this publisher just came out called Creature, Creature Comforts, but I decided I would buy this first because I've been wanting to get this much longer than Creature Comforts. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now this does apparently seem to have a solo variant because one to five people can play, so that's even better. So let's take a look inside of the box. Okay, well the first thing I wanna mention is the top part of this box seems to have squares in certain spots with seashells and starfish and and it looks like it's got a score track as well so from what i understand we'll be rolling in to the box lid pour the during the game so that's an interesting uh that's interesting that we'll be using this to actually roll our dice into that's really cool i like that um at least that's what uh, I remember about it before I purchased it, purchased it. So really cool. Okay, let's see what this is. A board. Okay, and here's our board. Looks like it goes like this. Now the theme of the game is obviously going to be with about obviously looking for sunken treasure. And obviously, there's a lot of sharks in here, too. And look, there's a manta ray. <laughs> oh, yes. Another manta ray. Sweet. Cool. So that's the board. So we'll set that aside since we showed that already. What else do we got? It looks like, looks like these are player boards because there's more than one of these. So this is the player board. And there's five of them. So yes, player boards. That's what those are. Okay, then we got some punch outs. We've got starfish and um, clams and seashells. We won't obviously not gonna punch them out, but that's some of the punch outs. We've got more though. We've got more punch outs. We've got what looks like sunken treasure, probably, tokens of some kind. And then another reason why I was so attracted to this um to this game is because you can kind of like build an aquarium. So while you're looking for sunken treasure, you can find exotic fish or animals in the ocean and put them in, in, into an aquarium. That's really cool, right? And so we've got all sorts of animals here. We've got the, uh, I want to say that's a moray eel right there and a puffer fish and a seahorse. And I'm not really sure what that is. And then we got the octopus, obviously, and then we've got a nautilus and a sea otter by the looks of it. So that's really cool. And then there's some jellyfish over here. And it looks like this is like a bottom part of a of an aquarium. This is. So that's really cool. What else we got? Looks like we've got even more of these uh, tokens to punch out with different symbols on them and more of these. Okay, and we got... Once again, we've got more stuff, more aquarium stuff. Let's see here. Is there anything else besides... Oh, yeah, there's quite a bit, actually. Let's see, we've got... Ooh, we've got that one. That's cool. Um, scorpion fish, maybe? I'm tr trying to remember what this is called. It's been a while. But there's the manta ray. Sweet. Yes, manta ray. Awesome. Oh, yes. Sweet. What else we got? Looks like we got some other bottom parts of the aquarium. And there's different ones. They're all different, pretty much. This one's even got a crab in it. And it looks like the bottom of this one has a, an anglerfish, maybe? That may, maybe that's an anglerfish. Or it could be a monkfish, maybe. But it's probably an anglerfish. So that's really cool. And then, obviously, the giant clam there. It looks like we've got even more aquarium pieces, so this is getting even better. Oh, yes. We've got even more animals here. We've got, uh, I want to say that's a, that's definitely a manatee. 
That's a narwhal. Um, I want to say that's a dogfish, maybe. Ooh, leafy sea dragon. That's that's definitely a a leafy sea dragon. Although I suppose it could be a ruby-eyed sea dragon or a weedy sea dragon, because because it is red, but still beautiful. Um, what else we got? We got the hammerhead shark, and I think that's like a. I'm not sure what that is actually. I'm gonna assume. Then we got a sea turtle and a squid and looks like this one is a shark maybe a whale shark that must be a whale shark or something probably cool it looks like we've got even more aquarium tiles uh let's see what else we got we got uh let's see here Ooh, azoltal that's definitely an azoltal even better i like azoltals we've got dolphins and Various other types of fishes, angelfish and all that. Cool. So, awesome. Very cool. So, it looks like that's it for the punch-outs. Then, looks like we've got the roll book. So, the roll book's usually the first thing we look at, right? And the roll book was pretty much on the bottom of the box this time. So, let's just take a look, quick look at the roll book while we're here. So, we've got components. And uh, the setup cool and uh let's see what we got here we got the gameplay and moving to the beach okay cool Very cool. And let's see, we got more. And awesome artwork of some sharks. So maybe that's not a whale shark. Maybe it's some other type of shark. Maybe a bull shark or something. And game end. Final scoring. And looks like this is the solo mode rules. So, whole page for solo mode. And maybe, uh, and then the entire game is explained on this page, too. So, if you already know how to play the game and you just need something briefly, this is probably going to be easier to go through to help you remember. Okay, so, that's the rule book. A nice rule book. Okay, we got some meeples now, so let's... Take a look at the meeples. We've got lots of bags here, too, to put our stuff in. Because we've got lots of punch-outs, right? So let's take out these meeples. Take a look at these crabs. Okay, that's cool. Crab meeples. All right, cool. Let's put that one there. Let's get another one out. we got a purple one. And since there's five of them, I'm assuming that everyone gets a crab. Because there's five of them. And they're each differently colored. So we got purple, we got yellow, and we've got, uh, I want to say this is like green and gray and red. So that's cool. Uh, we won't take any more out, but, but we still got more meeples. We've got the divers, it looks like. So let's take a look at some diver meeples. So it looks like more, it looks like uh, we'll be getting more than one of these per player because. There are multiple colors, but there's also more than one of each color. So I'm assuming we're going to get more than one diver during the course of the game. So uh, let's take out another one. Show. Okay, and that's another one. Cool. So there's the divers. We'll put those there. Obviously, we got some dice because this is, like I said, a you're going to be rolling dice in this game because I did mention the uh, using the box lid to roll your dice into. And then we've got some cards to look at. So let's take a look at these. If I can get them open fast, that'd be nice. So, so far, this is a, a pretty cool game. Definitely super excited to play this. And I'm super happy to see so many different animals in the aquarium, especially my personal favorite, the manta ray. I'm sure 
I am sure Manta, my buddy Manta, will want to play this with me for sure, since he is a Manta Ray. And, you know, since he likes to play games with Manta Rays in it. Makes sense. But there's also the Azolto. That was definitely awesome to see, too. Azoltos are cool. Okay, so here's the cards. Okay, so looks like there's different symbols on these cards that go with those tokens. So that's, I think that's probably all the, the cards then. They probably all have the symbols on them. That's what they're there for, I guess, I would imagine, since that's all there is. And there's some seashells in some of these too, so. And there's obviously, this is, would be probably money or victory points to indicate, I would imagine. So that's all the cards, and that means, and that's what they look like on the opposite side. So that's all the cards, and that means this is the entire unboxing video. That's all there is in the box. So if you guys liked this unboxing video, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!